We're here with Benjamin Dufrasse, CEO of Technisys. Benjamin, Technisys is one of the largest, is the largest LSP in France and one of the three largest LSPs in Europe with revenues last year of about 45 million euro. Um, how are you using mergers and acquisitions as an accelerator of your growth? Uh, we use, hi Andrew, we use uh, m and as accelerator because we capture the most of the revenue we, that comes from the companies we acquire and we just add it to our revenue streamline, uh, plus we make it grow organically, the revenue of the company we acquire plus our revenue, and we try to create a cross-sell and upsell effects between both, basically. Okay. And uh, what are the main benefits then you're looking for besides just revenue growth uh, in your M&A process? And what are some of the downside risks to M&A that you've encountered? Benefits are mainly, uh, beside revenue, of course, uh, we have uh, human, uh, human uh, good people uh, we, we get from the acquisition, meaning that uh, we get good managers, we need we get good teams coming from different countries, different culture. Plus, uh, for one of the acquisitions we made, we also gathered the strong uh, technological assets in the acquisitions. That's what I would call the main benefits of uh, made out of the acquisitions. Uh, on risk sides uh, and downside, I would say that uh, there are some risks when getting to make an acquisition based on the s social you know, a climate in the company that's been acquired because uh, people can be afraid of that. Mm. Uh, it, it is a risk. Uh, I would say also that on client side, there are some clients that may be lost because the company is changing side, changing, you know, uh, uh, from local to global. So it might have an impact that might be negative. Well, so as, as you look at the client profile and revenue, the staff and technology, what's the process that you use or that you go through the methodology that you ma use to manage these downside risks? Basically, we originally spend as much time as we can. Uh, top management from our company and all the managers from the different fields. People from sales, people from key account management, people from marketing, IT, tech, uh, HR, finance. Uh, spend the most time they can with the teams that uh, we acquire uh, so that they get a, f a good feeling of what's going on in the company. Uh, it's, I think, the most important things in making acquisition. And then I think it lasts from two to eight, 10, 12 weeks following acquisition. Uh, then it's followed by you know, the process that are centralized in each of our different uh, uh, department, meaning first of them being sales and key account management. Okay, excellent. Well, your growth has been impressive, so I wish you continued success. Thank you very much. Thank you.